In this video, we're going to look at how you can find your Windows username and password and why you might need it if you are using SQL Server Analysis Services, MDX, especially when you're just testing and developing. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So here I'm in Visual Studio and I go to File, New Project, I look for Analysis, and here I have an Analysis Services multi-dimensional project. I've already installed the back engine of SQL Server with an MDX SSAS extension. That's a multi-dimensional SQL Server Analysis Services extension. So I'm going to click yes. I'm going to type in a project name and click create. So the first thing I need to do is to connect to a data source. So in this example, I'm connecting to SQL Server. So I will right and click, go to new data source, go into the data source wizard. I will create a data source based on a new or existing connection. So my server name, I've got the SQL server again hosted on my computer so I can use dot or local host, but I will just use dot. I'll use Windows Authentication. You've got the choice of Windows or SQL Server Authentication. It's how your SQL Server is set up. And I'm going to connect to an AdventureWorks database. Then I click OK. You can test the connection, see if it works. Click OK, and then go to the next step. And here is the impersonation information. You can define what Windows credentials are used. So I said you need Windows credentials, not necessarily mine. So you can use the credentials of the current user, but I've often found that that doesn't work when you're doing this testing and developing. You need a specific Windows user name and password. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can fill in these fields, where you can get the information from. So first of all, username. Well, the easiest way to find your Windows username is to press Control, Alt and Delete you'll then see options including Task Manager. If you go to Task Manager, you'll see something like this. And if you go to Users, here you'll see My User. So that is the information that I need to put in the username. Now the password, don't be confused by the password. Your password is not necessarily going to be a four digit number that you enter when opening Windows. So quite a lot of people have got this login screen where they have their username or friendly version of their username shown and then they just have to type in their pin a four digit number that is not going to be your password now instead of me actually being able to show you what your password is because obviously i don't know what the best thing i can do is to take you to a website which is microsoft's website and shows you how to reset your current password or how to guess whether your current password is what you think it is. So if you think you know what it is, then you can say, I'm going to guess it. And if it's right and I want to change it, then it will say, yes, it is. If it's wrong, then I will need to reset my password without being able to guess what my current password is. And that is where reset your Windows 11 local password comes in. So you can see that if you've added security questions, then you can answer them and then you can enter a new password. You'll see tabs at the top, so you can go between Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7. Alternatively, ask your administrator if you are doing this on a work computer. So once you have done this, and you wish to continue using a specific Windows username and password, then you can enter those into this dialog box, and then click Next. Now, if I can help you further with your SQL Server Analysis Services journey, then I hope you consider joining me in my Udemy course. So in around two and a half hours, we'll have a look at how to create your first cubes and enhancing them. And then in the remaining five hours of this course, we'll have a look at how to retrieve data from your cube while enhancing your cube as well. We'll be using a language called MDX. A link to this course is in the description to this video. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please click the like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this. 
and keep learning.